Hello everyone, it's Sentai Guy here, and you may not have heard my voice before, or know really anything about me, because I've never actually done one of these videos before, and it's probably rare that I'm ever going to do one again. So I just wanted to thank everyone for 50,000 subscribers, it actually scares me how much this channel has grown over the past two years, and it's still growing, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Thanks to those who watched from the beginning, and those who even just discovered my channel, just thank, thanks to everyone. It means so much to me. So before the video begins, I just want to make a quick few shout outs to some people from the Kamen Rider Amino, which you should definitely check out, as there's over 2,000 people, including me, who are active and talking about Tokusatsu, and loving it as much as I do. Even I'm active there, and all the time, so if you want to ask me something, or just chat with me there, you can. So my first shout out is to Midnight Spectre, who I probably know the best in the Amino. He's... And he's the one who did the animation you see on the screen. Hey Mid. Oh, and also shout-outs to Banzo, who did the thumbnail, because I'm actually really bad at doing anything like that. So, do you know what? Shout-outs to everyone in the Amino as well. But I think that's enough of that. I think I should start a and a already, so let's go. Potato Guy asks, how did you get into Tokusatsu? So I guess it started with Power Rangers, like when I was a kid, I used to watch Wild Force and Ninja Storm and all the ones that were out at that time. And I was absolutely loving it. And I was decided to watch something on YouTube about Power Rangers. And for some reason I got recommended um, some Go Onja video. Which was like someone made all the mechs but in Lego. And that I thought that was absolutely incredible. But the one thing that confused me like, was that I didn't know what song was playing in the background. Because it was the Go Onja theme. And I didn't recognise it at all. And then in the recommended from that was something about... Go on, you. And when I clicked on that, I learned that, well, it was Super Sentai. And so it was later on where I actually started watching Go Kaija, where I actually learned about Super Sentai and started watching one season. And it was in the superhero time before the show actually starts where I saw Forze. And at first I was like, what the hell is that? Why is, what, what is that supposed to be? Is it, an, is it another ranger or something? Is it part of Go Kaija? I don't remember him. And so I eventually ended up finding out that it's called Kamen Rider, and I wasn't really sure what that was. And so I decided to have a look at it, and I, I think I started watching Gaim at first, and I just was hooked instantly. I loved it. Although I never did actually get far in, into it. And through that, I found out about all the other seasons, and then eventually got into other Toga shows like Ultraman and Space Sheriff and all those. And another thing that sparked my interest was back when I was in secondary school, um, I, at that point I was I was aware of Kamen Rider and I was enjoying it, and um, I had like an O's sort of symbol on my background, and I wouldn't think that anyone would actually know Kamen Rider but me, but it turned out one of my friends actually knew what it was and recognised it, which surprised the hell out of me. And later, and we've just been best mates since, and later we introduced my other friend into Kamen Rider as well. He's not too big a fan, but he still enjoys x Aid. Shouts to Aaron and Jamie. Hello. Get Goofed asks, what is your favourite fight scene? Probably the fa my favourite fight scene that I've ever seen is the fight scene in Kuga where he fights the porcupine grongi. The reason I love this so much is because it's just how out of character he is in this scene. Because like Yusuke, if you'd ever actually seen Kuga, he's just this happy guy. He's always smiling. He's always giving the thumbs up. He's always like supporting everyone. But just in this scene, he just goes like full on ape shit on this grongi. Like he, to the point where he just relentlessly punches it in the face until it coughs out blood. He then proceeds to ram it with his armored bike and then turns into Rising Titan and then proceeds to slash it, and then stab it in the heart. And then, just to finish off, it, it just, he gets a glimpse of his final form. And all while, this sort of eerie sound plays over the whole thing. Here's a clip of it.
What I also love about this scene is just how it shows all the faces of the victims that the Grongi has killed, which just like puts more sort of pressure on him. Just this fact that he he could have saved them, but he didn't. This is all because of him, which gets him even more angry, which is I think is pretty cool. Duststorm64 asked, what is your favourite thing you have made? Probably the my favourite thing that I've ever made is the Fies belt I did quite a long time ago. Now, although it's deleted now, I do have a, I do have like a clip I can show you in a bit. But the reason I love this belt, what I did so much with this belt, is because somehow, I don't even know how I managed to do it, I probably wouldn't be able to do it now, but I don't know how I managed to cram so much... So make so much just for this one video. I made the bell, I made the shot, I made the pointer, I made the sword, even the axle watch. I just thought it was just the coolest thing I've ever actually made. Oh, here is a, here's a clip of like what it was, but in sort of an improved version. Standing back. <laughs> Jar Imani asks, sorry if I messed up your name, do you want to give a tutorial in origami? I don't do origami, so probably no. Although if you're talking about the paper models that I've used in some, sometimes in videos like the Jeed Riser and the x Belt, they're all designed by Ben Paper, who's actually one of my favourite YouTubers. He's so amazing, you should check him out. He does all these he does all these tokusatsu items and he make it gives a download in the description so you can make it yourself unless you're talking about the helmets which i which are shown in the background in some of my videos or well, most of them of cougar blade and although you can't really see it black i found them online when i was just sort of searching for models to make and i just sort of downloaded them have a go i'll see if i can find the link for that and put it in the description toku time on instagram asks what is your favourite final form from Kamen Rider? My favourite final form is is would definitely be Kiva Emperor. I just find it amazing how they take the normal Kiva suit, which I loved before, and made it even better with the addition of a gold colour mixed with grey, which gives it like a very king-like kind of appearance. Even having like a massive cape, which like is it's just the coolest thing to look at. I also love how the henshin item for this, for the final form, isn't just the gimmick item, but a bit bigger and a little different. Which I wish they would just stick as the final form items, because it's just kind of boring now. I mean, if you just look at Wizard, yeah, yeah, cool final form and everything, but what's the item? Oh, it's just a ring. Not a bigger gimmicky ring, just a goddamn ring. I mean, it's barely different from the normal rings. I mean, it doesn't even have the flip gimmick like the others do. How about instead you shake things up and maybe have his axe as the henshin item? That would be cool. There's rarely any riders ever that even use weapons to transform. And it's awesome. I mean, seriously, this is just a ring. Who designed this sh <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway. Okay, so normally I just do one question per person, but since Midnight Spectre made the drawings, then I'll make an exception. Okay, so number one. Will you ever do a face reveal? I mean, probably not, but I have considered it before. Number two, what's it like to be in Europe? I mean, good, I guess. I mean, I've never actually lived anywhere else or been much pla much more places else, but from what I know, it's, it's, it's all right, I guess. And number three, what are your thoughts on the whole banning memes controversy? I mean, I don't really think about it because these are memes we're talking about. They don't die, even when you desperately want them to. They just never go away. Rakhile Ramos from YouTube asks, where are you from? I'm from England, which you could probably already tell from my accent. Vapor the Hot Burb asks, How did you figure out you can make drivers using Lego? Well, I guess it all started soon after I first got into Kamen Rider. I was watching something like about Ryuki's belt, I don't know, probably a review or something. But I was thinking that I could probably make it out of Lego since I did have quite a lot of pieces at the time. Although I did make it and it did turn out to be pretty bad. And once I made it, I definitely wanted to make them all, so I started making them. 
and if I remember it, which included Kabuto, Gaim, Oz, and Kiva. And back then, I was pretty terrible at making them, since they were pretty bad. I don't know why, but I decided to upload them to YouTube, which was originally going to be uh, like a top-down shot, me reviewing the belts and talking over. Which, looking back, I'm glad I changed. And so I kept making and uploading models to YouTube, but I kind of stopped liking the way I made them, because I didn't really focus on the whole thing, I just focused on the front view, and all the rest was just sort of random colours, which made it look pretty weird. Dr. Vincentu asks, can you make bug visor G? Yeah, I probably can, but it would just be the same as the bug visor, which I'd already done before. <coughs> but just like white and green. I doubt I'd actually ever do a video on it though, since it's not, since it's not used as a transformation device. If I was going to make it, I'd just do a Lego digital designer model, which I've made the bug visor in already. Josuke Higashikata asks, Why do you not speak nor show your face when doing videos? I don't show my face or use my voice in my videos as I never really felt the need to. As the whole point of the video was to show off the model I made, say the bell or the changer, and it was never really about me. So I thought it wouldn't really matter. Poke Kiss Anime SSPR Fan 122 asks, what are my favourite toku shows? Well, I actually haven't fully watched many toku shows, but I would say that my favourite Kamen Rider show would probably be Kuga. As I kind of prefer Kamen Rider when the season is kind of more dark and not super kid-friendly, with some moments being a bit dark. Kuga does this quite well at points, as it gives me chills, but not to the point where you feel scared. An example of this would be the fight scene, which I already talked about earlier. So just to basically sum it up, I do like Cougar, but it, it can be a little slow sometimes, and the, the show got a bit boring through some episodes. So anyway, I just wanted to thank you all again for 50,000 subscribers, and it's and still growing, which is, which is just amazing to me, and I can't wait to continue making videos for all of you. After this, my next video will probably just be another normal LEGO one, as I'm going to just stick to doing those videos, and not actually use my voice in any of them, as this one's just like a one-off. However, I am thinking of doing another video in the future, which explains how to open all the digital designer models and how to build them, as quite a few people have been confused and asked me about it. But anyway, I want to thank you all for everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video.